Hello and welcome back to the channel. I thought it was about time I did an update video on the uh, Genesis Quadifer 10 2021. Uh, last video I did was probably about a year ago. Um, so yeah, I'd like just to update that and uh, say a few things about the bike. I know I've said some things in the past which were quite derogatory um, and I've been pulled up about that, but I stand by most of those. So let's get into this one and let's answer some of those questions and have a look at the bike. So probably the first thing to answer is really why have I got the bike? I'm not really a cyclist. I, I just like to ride a bike. You know, I don't consider myself a cyclist, but I do ride a bike quite a lot. And since the last video in uh, 2021, I think I completed just over 10,000 kilometers on the uh, Genesis uh, Quadrifer 10. Uh, largely trouble free I have to say apart from the few bits that I did document in uh, in some of the other videos so the uh, the um, bottom bracket which I had to replace uh, the spoke seats in the wheel uh, they were a bit of a problem and I had a couple of other little minor niggles but nothing nothing major really so over the past year 10,000 kilometers uh, in 2021 and probably about 4,000 so far, nearly 5,000 now in 2022. Uh, the bike has performed really, really well. It's really comfortable. I've adjusted it to exactly how I like it. I've added the bits and pieces that I need and it's been, it's been a pretty good workhorse actually. Quite a nice bike to ride for bike trips. Not a cyclist, bike trips. So looking around the bike, I've got the Blackburn cages on the front. They've been really useful. Um, this last trip that I've made, I've had two dry bags, two five litre dry bags with all the, the bits and pieces I need. One side with the kitchen equipment and the other side with some cold weather clothes and some lights. They've been strapped to the front forks. Now, I did complain about the mounting points on the front forks. I only use one mounting point for the Blackburn cage and two cable ties to level them up. They are almost symmetrical, but not quite. It doesn't cause any problem on the steering, but they're just not quite right. You know, as an engineer, they should be quite, they should be absolutely symmetrical as far as I'm concerned. They just don't look quite right on the bike. But anyway, you can judge for yourself what they look like. The Tortec Transalp rack on the back has been brilliant, absolutely excellent. That has two rock straps on it as well to hold my 20 litre dry bag on the top, which has been holding my tent for the last couple of weeks. I've uh, fitted two uh, old school Altura um, Orkney 56 litre panniers to the uh, back, back of the bike, the rack at the back of the bike, and they've been pretty full. I think I've probably been carrying about 40 kilos of luggage or more on those so the the rack is probably rated for just about that and it's done a very good job i've been very pleased with that i've got two bottle cages one on the uh, seat post and one on the uh, diagonal bit whatever you call that some cyclists will tell you uh, that part of the frame uh, they've been great no problems there the bottles just stay in them and they have done over all of this crazy terrain for the last uh, last couple of weeks on the handlebars, I've got a very, very cheap um, bar, roll, dry bag mounting system. That's had my Helinox seat and my um, Decathlon Thermarest equivalent uh, mattress in it. And uh, yeah, no detrimental effects at all. The steering's absolutely fine and the bike feels really balanced with that on there. Also on the handlebars, I've got my Wahoo Element Bolt um, GPS that's that's a great thing really uh, battery life is excellent especially on long days uh, I've also got a chuck bucket which my GoPro has sat in for most of the time and I can just pull the GoPro out as I'm going along do a little bit of video put it back in again and carry on that's been brilliant and on the uh, crossbar I've got a very very good um, bag that's really excellent for fitting my wallet, passport, and this iPhone 13 Pro Max into it. So it's quite quite capable, that little bag. And through some very serious rain, it was totally dry inside. The last thing I've got on the bike under the seat is the Altura 
um, bag. That's uh, where I keep all my tools. And uh, yeah, that's been absolutely brilliant as well. Just enough tools uh, for this trip, which have been barely used, I have to say. Very few problems. Also buried away on the bike, I've got an Apple AirTag. Not that I've had to use it. It's, um, it's glued on with some uh, very strong epoxy to a part of the bicycle and covered over. You can't see it and I'm not gonna tell you where it is. So why have I chosen now to record this update video? Well, a couple of years ago, I had a trip planned to ride from Cambridge through Hook of Holland, Germany, Switzerland, France, and down here to Lyon in France. And uh, of course, with the pandemic, that was canceled. But I've just done it. Over the last two weeks, I've uh, steadily worked my way all the way from Hook van Holland, through Holland, across Holland, into Germany, across Germany, through to France, along the Rhine, into Switzerland, along a canal, and then down the Sone River here all the way to Lyon. And that's been about 1,700 kilometers all told on this bike behind me. For the original trip, I was gonna use my VSF Fired Manufacturer T500 touring bike, which is a, is a great bike, and I really do like um, going for rides on that one. But uh, having had this bike and got used to it last year with the 10,000 kilometers, I decided that this would be the one to try. And it's actually been quite good. There's been some crazy terrain. I have taken some strange detours, off-road, gravel roads and uh, forest tracks and tractor trails uh, all the way along. Um, but for 1,700 or so kilometers, it's been largely trouble-free. Before I set off on the trip, I did quite a big strip down of the bike. I took everything apart, absolutely everything. I took the chain off, the derailleur off, cleaned everything, replaced the cables on the uh, gear shifters. Uh, they were pretty poor actually at the, um, at the lever end. They were quite frayed up. Uh, I also changed the brake blocks and adjusted the brake cables. Uh, the brake the brake pads I should say on these are disc disc pads and they, they've been excellent I took the red ones out and put green ones in I'm sure someone will tell me what that means but um, as far as I'm concerned I go downhill in the in the wet or the dry and I pull the levers and the bike stops so I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that so after the strip down of the bike and the rebuild I tested everything and it seemed to be absolutely fine so I uh, decided to change up the tires I put some Schwalbe Marathon Plus Tour 35c tires on it i'd normally be running the 28s for my my normal bike rides around the fens but i wanted something a little bit chunkier for the um for the weight and some of the terrain that i was going on and they perform really really well very good in the wet as well and we've had a couple of very wet days on the way down um from switzerland uh, so yeah all that weight water crazy terrain the tires have been brilliant i haven't had any issues at all i've been running them at about 75 psi and that's been fine so i know i've upset a few people by saying this is a, this genesis bike is a pub bike well yes it is i've been to the pub on it and you can go to the pub on it you can go to lots of places on it uh, it's also been reasonably capable over 1700 kilometers in two weeks 100 to 150 kilometers a day without without any issues perhaps it could do with some slightly different gearing but i've managed to cope perfectly well so how do i feel about the bike now after owning it for 18 months or so well i've actually grown to like it but a lot of that has been to do with my work on it and my adjustment so you know as with every bike you make it your own and and this one is now mine the pedals great love the flat pedals for touring fantastic everything about this bike has been brilliant would i have preferred to do this on my vsf fire manufacturer now probably not i think i'd prefer this bike this bike seems to be super reliable but that wasn't always the case and uh, if you've seen some of the other videos you know my feelings about genesis and the uh, box shifting uh, way that they sell things if i'd have bought it from a retailer then maybe things that have been different but the bike itself has been brilliant it's super good for what i've been using it for so if you're in any doubt if a genesis quadifer 10 2021 2022 is any good for touring i would say yes it is if you add the right bits and pieces
All right, so there we are. Hopefully this clears up a few of the points that I made and the derogatory comments that I made about the bike. I don't think that that's the case anymore. Those, all those issues are solved and I'm very pleased with it. So if you've got this far in the video, hopefully you'll consider subscribing, leave me a comment and a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.